you know who this is. These little guys are going to be in the no so video. Okay, I got these two Thor sets done, so I'm going to go ahead and get those shipped out in today's mail. I really like the embroidery eyes. guys sorry for the backlighting we made it back from the vet got this last order for the week finished before my vacation hello friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is April and I run a small crochet business I have an Etsy shop I do markets I'm a mom I am just trying to balance my business with my life as a mom and a wife. I'm going to take you along this week and show you what I do for my business each day and share with you any tips or tricks I have learned over the last 10 years doing Etsy, 12 years doing markets. I just wanted to share and I hope you can learn stuff from me. Hopefully you can get some benefit from it. This is my third vlog. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Also for all your comments. I appreciate your love and support. It means a lot. Any questions, comments, please feel free to ask me anything, especially related to the business. Today's Monday. This morning I went to the gym, you guys. I feel good. I feel energized. I do have to take my son to the doctor later. I'm going to try to fit some of my orders in. Today I'm going to first get started on some Etsy orders. I'm going to take you along and show you what I'm working on. For the week, I I have just market prepping that I'd like to get done. I have my sole business has been crocheted hats, character hats, newborn photography props. I have a few orders that I need to get done on Etsy. I think I have I have another fish stick hat that needs to go out. I have a shark hat and diaper cover that needs to go out. Two Thor capes and masks and a Spider-Man cape that I need to work on. And then I'm also going to try to market prep for my shows. I do shows fall through December, starting in September through December. So I'm constantly market prepping for that. I have a lot of hats started that I need to, to finish. So I'm going to braid hats this week. I'm going to work on some capes. I also have another show that I want to try to get booked. I think I might try a summer show. Yeah. And I'd like to film it so you guys can see my setup and what I sell and I'll be completely transparent about what I'm making, what it costs, just because I know how much it, it can help if you're just getting started to learn from others that are already doing it. Since I've been making and loving making plushies, I think I'm going to do a summer show. Typically selling hats, people aren't thinking about buying hats. Now when it gets cold, it's on. People are like, oh, it's cold, I need a hat. The hats I sell, they're character hats, are cute on kids. They go really well because when a kid sees it and it's a character they love and then the parent sees how cute they are in it and then they see how well they're made, like it's always been a win-win for me selling these hats. I love that and I'm glad that I found my niche, but I've been selling hats for so long I need it. I need I need some something new. I started making plushies about two years ago just for myself. I was making the really complicated ones that take like a day to make so I can't sell those. Those are mine. I'm keeping them. I might show you guys someday if you might see some of them. I don't know if you can see them up that way. I've got a bunch there and a bunch on this wall that are mine. <laughs> I've come across the plushies that are used the Burnett blanket yarn and the the velvety yarns and those don't take that long to make so I've been making those. I did start selling them last season and they went over really well so I was really excited about that. So that's something new that I'm adding this year to my business and I've been making the lovies. I've shared that with you guys which I'm absolutely obsessed with. They're so quick to make and they're so dang cute that I'm obsessed right now. I have to kind of like put myself in timeout making toys and get my hats done because I know they're a guaranteed seller. I, I think the toys are too, but I have all these hats started and I have all this yarn, so I gotta, I gotta finish using all this yarn 
so I got to keep making hats. So I'm going to take you along this week. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so I already have the Thor capes made because I worked these up ahead of time, but I don't have any masks. So these are my little templates I've made. I sell this pattern on Etsy for the cape and the mask. So I'll put the link in the description. It comes with the template, it comes with the pattern, but I'm going to show you how I make the masks and I gotta do a couple of these, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few extra while I'm doing this so that I have some ready to go. done I just have to glue the Thor piece and I'll be done with those but when you my glue gun to warm up and I wanted to show you guys a hat that I made a bit ago and I wrote it down in my book but I want to finalize it and I just want to know what you guys think do you know who this is my son and I are big Marvel fans. He loves comic books. He's always got me into the movies and stuff, so I love anything Marvel related. I made this Venom hat. I think it's so cool, but let me tell you how much work it is. Like, I haven't sold it at markets because it takes so long to make, but I think it's one that I should publish because other people can make it. It's so cool. I think it's so cool. I love it. What do you think? Do you like it? Think I should publish it? <laughs> I think it, I think I should because I don't want to make it a whole lot. It, it's a lot of work. It's cool. I think it looks pretty. I love the teeth and and the tongue. I think it's pretty cool. I do sell a Spider-Man hat at markets, which does really well. I actually had people ask me about Venom. Yeah, maybe I'll sell a few. I don't know. My nephew wanted this and I wouldn't give it to him because I didn't want to have to make another one before I write the pattern up, publish it. I needed photos. I'm going to finish this, gluing this, this. Let me know what you guys think though. These two Thor sets done so I'm gonna go ahead and get those shipped out in today's mail.
okay, I got my Thor up orders finished and packaged up. I just want to give a shout out to Curtis and Mariah. Thank you for your orders. I really appreciate it. I would love for you to share your photos with me. I love seeing the little babies in the little outfits. It makes them come to life and it makes me feel so happy. So I will try to put a photo here of my little Thor cape that I have. It is so cute. I love it and I want to share it with you. So check it out. Oh, and um, I think it's time for lunch, so I'm going to take a little pause. Today's lunch. I like to eat eggs for lunch. Anybody else? And I love avocado toast. It's so delicious. High protein. Lunch. It's lunch. <laughs> I am going to work on some Spider-Man masks. I don't have any left. I like to try to get some of these prepared, so I'm going to go ahead and, and trace my template, which... This pattern is also in my Etsy shop. You can purchase it and make this yourself. It comes with a template and also the pattern to make the cape. Here in a little bit, I am going to cut out the spiders using my Cricut and I'll show you how I do that. In my pattern, if you don't have a Cricut, I have a template for the, the spider. It's just, I make so many of these and I can cut out a bunch at once on the Cricut and I just, I have a spider that I saved because I have the Cricut membership. I just use that spider and it works just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and, and work on tracing some of these. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to put this in my computer so that I can create a SVG file. I just bought a iPad Pro and I downloaded Procreate, but it's something else I'm gonna have to figure out. For now, we're just doing it the old-fashioned way. We're gonna trace it. Let's go. All right, so now I got it cut out and I'm gonna use my puffy paint to draw the spider web. So hopefully I don't get it on me <laughs> this time. guys here's the mask it's gonna need to dry overnight so I'm gonna stick it here I'm gonna try to get those other masks cut out at some point but at least they're traced and ready to go makes things a little bit easier but I will try to get to those at some point I will cut the spiders here soon I have to get my son and like I don't know if to leave in like 15 minutes I don't know if I want to tackle that just yet Maybe I'll braid a hat or two while I wait. I got a few minutes. Okay, so next we are going to cut out spiders using my Cricut. Let me show you what I do. as well I cut my spiders so that's good while that was cutting I had to leave and take my son to his appointment 
while I was out, I stopped at Best Buy. I went ahead and purchased a, a new SD card to help me with my filming because I kept filling up the card really fast. It was kind of small, so hopefully this one works better. This is 128 gigabyte. I'm really excited about that. So I bought this USB-C to SD card reader for my iPad to help me with editing. So I just want to be able to edit on my computer and or uh, my iPad. So that that's nice. As far as Best Buy goes, I do all my shopping there pretty much and unless I see something a lot cheaper on Amazon, but I will say Best Buy matches the price because I do have their, it's called My Best Buy Total. I get Geek Squad. If I have a problem with my computer or anything, I can call and they shadow my computer to help me. I end up buying everything there because they end up giving me an extra year warranty. So like if I buy any Apple products, I get an extra year warranty included in the membership. It is an annual fee. I think it's worth it for me. You also get discounts on some of the things you buy. Like this card I think was on sale for 30 but with the membership it was only $23.99 so you save a few bucks here and there with it. That's just an added benefit that I wanted to share with you guys. I really like that you get the extra warranty with it because you know techie stuff is it's kind of scary. You spend all that money and then it goes bad. But anyway, I've got my spiders cut. I'm going to work on some capes and then I'm going to have to cook dinner soon. <sighs> about you guys, but I don't like to cook. I used to, but now it's just more like a chore and I'd rather be crocheting. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Tuesday and today is a busy day per usual. Let's see, so today I'm getting my hair done. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I have to leave here in a few hours so I'm going to work and see what I can get done before I have to leave. I am still working on a few Etsy orders. I did work on all these capes to get them kind of worked up. I have to sew one of the spiders on and then I'm probably going to take these to my mom because she's really great at sewing <laughs> and I hate it. I usually, in order to get her to sew, I have to pin things on for her and then she'll sew it. I'm going to take these to her this week. When I get these back, they'll be finished. So that's nice. Thanks, mom. I will ship the Spider-Man cape out today before I leave. I have the mask done. I just have to add the ties to it, print the, the label and get it done. I have to do a shark hat and diaper cover still and I have to sew a fish stick hat. I need to work on those. I don't know if I'll get those done today but I'll try to get them started. I am going to get online real quick and book a show that I need to get done. I want to try to do a summer show. I haven't done one in a long time. I did one years ago and I was highly disappointed because, you know, people just don't buy hats. And now that I'm selling plushies, I think I think it'll be a good opportunity to, to try to sell. I, it would be nice to be able to sell throughout the year because you make a lot of money at markets, guys. I mean, markets is where it's at. I make money on Etsy, but I make way more money at markets. I mean, it's a lot of work because you got to, you know, stock up on your, your items. You, you usually make a good profit at markets. We'll work on that. I still need to braid hats. I mean, that is a continuous thing in my life, braiding hats, pinning things on some hats. I need to kind of get things moved along. Yesterday I ordered a, or I bought an SD card, and today I ordered a new battery for my camera. I ended up ordering an external hard drive, too. I would like to put out a video of some patterns I've tried of some, you know, no so plushies. I want to try to get that done this week, put that out. I have 
several plushies that I've made. I did sell them last year at my markets. They did well and I would like to share those with you. So I'm going to put a video together of that. I guess that's it for now. Let's get started. Alright, so I applied to two more shows. One is June 2nd and the other one is September 15th. One of them's on my mom's birthday but hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully we can celebrate the day before and do the show on her birthday. That would be fun, right, Mom? Hope so, but I, you know, I applied, so I don't have to accept if they offer it to me if she doesn't want me to do that, but I don't think she'll care. So anyway, let's get started with something. What shall we do? I guess I'll start finishing up the Spider-Man. the cape done so now I'm gonna do the ties and then I'll be shipping this out This one's going out. Lisa, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate it. This package is going to Florida. So this is the before. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. Today's a, a great day. I feel good. I worked out today. That's always good. Yesterday I got my hair done. That was fun. My stepdaughter does my hair and she does a really good job. She is uh, based in Cincinnati. If you guys are interested looking for a good hairstylist, let me know. I typically wear my hair just naturally wavy, messy. That's just, I don't take a lot of time with my hair. So it's nice to get a nice little blowout once in a while. I'll be honest, today I'm a little stressed out. I have a sick kitty, my 13-year-old Maine Coon, who's diabetic, is not doing too well. I'm going to take him to the vet. It doesn't help that we are planning a vacation. We are flying out on Saturday, so I have so much I'm trying to get done this week. This video, there's another video I'm trying to make so that I can post next week. His blood sugar is just wonky. It's getting too low. You know, I test it, but the vet is still having me give him insulin so now we're gonna go there today and find out what to do i have my stepdaughter staying here with the kitties my mom's taking care of my doggy i just hate leaving my pets i just love them so much they're my babies and i worry and i miss them when i'm gone especially you know raja right now being sick it's stressful. Also, I have a few orders I need to get done so that my queue is cleared out while I'm on vacation. That would be awesome. I'm just going to get right into it because I only have a few hours to work today before I have to take the cat to the vet. I am going to get started on my fish stick hat because that's one of my orders I need to get done. Come along.
I had to take a pause because I remembered I needed to get this done. This is an order and I wanted to get it finished before I went on vacation, but I did my first embroidery eyes, guys. Aren't they so cute? And when I say stuff like that, I don't know why my voice has to go up so high, so I'm sorry if that's annoying. I'm going to try to work on that. Isn't it cute the way I did it? I think they're adorable. I'm definitely going to have to sell these. What do you think? Which ones do you think are the cutest? I know there's a dragon, but I know the dinosaur is probably going to be the most popular. And I'm thinking the cow. Yeah. But I think they're all cute. I really like the embroidery eyes, maybe even more so than the safety eyes. And I know it's just safer in general for the, the little tykes. I'll probably start doing these. I think they look better. I really do. They're so cute. All right, well... guys sorry for the backlighting we made it back from the vet and I'm happy to say the vet thinks that my kitty might be in remission from diabetes can you believe it I guess he was vomiting because we were giving him insulin that he didn't need I can't believe it I'm really happy <laughs> I was really worried just thought you guys might like to know an update isn't he sweet the vet just loves him because he's such a lover and he's just so, Maine Coons are so laid back. Mm. He always has a grumpy face, but he's really not. He's sweet. He likes to be wherever I'm at. He's purring. He's happy to be home. Okay, back to work. guys we got the fish stick hat done so I got this done I'm excited I, that leaves me with the shark set that I'm done before vacation my mom's gonna make the hat I'm gonna pick that up and I gotta make the diaper cover I and mean, then I'll have to sew the hat but she's at least making the hat for me I'm um, gonna get that tomorrow and I got an Amazon package just gonna open that up with you So this was on my wish list for a while and I decided to get it for vacation. Do you guys have this? I mean at home I have an alt light. I always have plenty of light but I'm going somewhere where I don't know what the lighting situation is like. Plus on the plane I think this would be nice if it's dark. I don't know. It's gonna be at night so it might be dark. Anyway I'm excited about this. I've been wanting that. These are my batteries, my extra batteries for my camera. I'm taking my camera on my vacation because I want to get some footage of my family. My camera takes really good film, so that's exciting. I got an external hard drive, you guys, because these videos take up a lot of space. I wanted to have one place for them, so it was all in one spot. I'm going to use this excited about that. I am going to take and make my shipping label for my hat and then I have to get started on dinner and then maybe later I'll make the diaper cover if I feel like it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to work at night because I got to cook and, you know, do dishes and, you know, all that those chores and stuff that we all hate. Oh, I'd rather be crocheting 
always. <laughs> Fernando, your package is on its way to Los Angeles, California. Thank you so much for your order. I do appreciate it. All right, it's nighttime tonight. I'm gonna, it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna work on editing my video for the week. I've been trying to edit each day because we are leaving on Saturday and I wanna get it uploaded this weekend so you guys can enjoy it. Hopefully, I'm gonna get to that editing. Thursday guys hope all is well with you I am kind of tired today I think it might be just the stress of leaving for vacation I don't know if any of you guys are like that I just get really stressed out about all the things I need to do especially with the business trying to make sure my cues cleaned out and I still have the shark hat to work on, which I'm going to go to my mom's later and pick that up. She's making the hat. I need to make the diaper cover here in just a bit. And then I need to start making the face pieces, I think, for that. I want to get that all ready so that tomorrow I can finish sewing it and get it shipped out. And also, whenever I go on vacation, I don't put my Etsy shop on vacation mode. I don't like doing that because I sell patterns and finished products in one shop. So if I'm on vacation mode, people can't buy my patterns and that's just silly. What I do is I go on there and I change my ship times. That way there's no issue. I have plenty of time to, to work on them when I get back. I need to do that today. I need to go ahead and do that because I don't want any orders to come in before the ship times are different. As far as business goes, I kind of have to put a stop to it because I need to get ready for vacation. I also want to fit, finalize tomorrow's video pretty early so I can try to get it edited. I would like to get this video uploaded on Saturday because I'm leaving Saturday like at 4 to head to the airport. That's basically what I have to do for business the rest of the week. Oh, one more thing. I have been adding reels to my social media accounts. I have a TikTok, I have an Instagram, I'm on Facebook. So you guys check those out. Show me some love. You'll, you'll get to see other things that I'm doing on there. I need to come up with some content, especially for Instagram. I'm not really so much worried about TikTok and Facebook, but I do want to work on my Instagram a lot more. I feel like that is, that is the hot spot for crocheters. I really would like to work on that. So please check that out. Follow me on there. That would really help me out. I appreciate that. I need to film some stuff. I'm trying to come up with some ideas so that I can just have it on my phone and then I can work on editing maybe while I'm on vacation and posting, you know, because I would like to post every day on Instagram at least. I have to get that done too before I leave. The rest is just personal stuff, packing, cleaning, preparing everybody, getting my family's butt in gear because no one started packing. I keep every day this week, I'm like, hey, can you guys do your laundry? Can you, you know, start packing? Because I don't do my kids' laundry. I haven't for a while. Like, I'll help them, obviously, but, you know, I'm trying to get them started to be, you know, more independent. That's for sure. Hopefully they will get their butts in gear. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna work on a diaper cover. I'm hoping I have the yarn. I need to go upstairs and look because I don't think I have the yarn I need, which is kind of a problem. I might have to finish all of it tomorrow, so we'll see. 
All right, well, apparently I have no gray yarn here. My mom has an extra skein at her house. I will be making that diaper cover probably tonight when I get home. Although I've been editing at night for the day, I guess I'll just have to fit it all in like I normally do. I guess sleep will probably be put on hold. <laughs> That's the one thing about working from home and being a mom and you know, we just fit it in when we can. Over the years, I have become such a night owl. And as I've gotten a little bit older, it's kind of a problem. Like sleep is important. Sometimes that's the first thing to go when you're busy, isn't it? Like, you, you know, there's not enough hours in the day. So the only thing that can go is sleep. We'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna eat me some, uh, a quick breakfast because I haven't ate yet. And yogurt's always good. I think what I'll do next I'm going to go on while I'm eating this and change my shipping setting in my Etsy shop. Let's do that. <clears throat> what are you doing? Problem child right here. All right, guys, I'm dragging booty. So I'm gonna go make a coffee. Premier Protein and it's already got coffee in it. It's called Cafe Latte. It's my favorite. It reminds me of the Starbucks Frappuccinos that you buy at the gas station in the jar in the bottle. It kind of reminds me of that. It gives me those vibes. So I love to take this on ice and then I add a double shot guys. Double shot of espresso. Simple, lots of caffeine. It's delicious. All right, taste test. I love this drink and I love adding espresso. My husband bought that for me for Mother's Day last year. I wanted one so bad and we went and got it. We bought it at Best Buy and so guess what? We got an extra year warranty on the machine. Another reason why I like my membership from Best Buy. Now what am I gonna do? Like I was I had plans to work on that diaper cover. I really need to pack but I'm trying to do business stuff today. Oh I need to film some stuff for social media. I'm gonna try to figure some stuff out. I filmed one Instagram reel, at least filmed it. I need to edit it for while I'm gone. I'll probably do some reels and pictures and stuff while I'm in Florida. Just something easy. Try not to stress out too much about all that stuff. I also just went on and because I'm going to be gone for the week, I'm not going to be doing a vlog. I'm so sorry. But I thought I'd film a video of my four recent plushies I've made. They're free, no sew crochet plushie patterns. I'm going to post a video of them and where to find them. So next week I'll be posting that uh, instead of the vlog. And then I'll get back to the following week vlogging when I get back. I will give you a little sneak peek. This is going to be in the no sew 
these little guys are going to be in the no sew video. I'm going to tell you where to find these patterns. I'm going to talk about them a little bit. I'm going to talk about what I um, sell these for at markets and how they've done for me so far. So I plan on making more for my markets this coming year. Check, check that out probably next week. All right, I am at a point today where I don't really have much to do other than personal things. I need to get ready for vacation. I'm going to go get my toenails done pretty soon with my daughter. I'm excited about that. And then I'm going to go visit my mom to pick, pick a hat up. And tonight I'm going to be back at it. I'll be working into the late hours again tonight, probably tomorrow as well. I will see you guys for now, but I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. It's been a busy week for me. I was kind of dragging this morning. I feel better now. It's my gym day. Oh, I really did not want to get out of bed. The kids didn't have school today because they're on spring break, and I want, really wanted to sleep in. I ended up getting up and going to the gym. I'm glad I did. I came back and took a shower and now I'm ready to work. I feel good, much better. Still working on my coffee and I've had some breakfast. I stayed up last night editing. I only have really to edit today's part of the video and then I will be able to upload that maybe tonight. I'm excited. So I hope you guys love this week's video. It's been fun filming. I enjoy sharing what I'm working on. I did stay up also, and I was working on this part of the diaper cover. I am gonna finish this up with you guys, as well as this is the shark hat that I will be working on. I have to make the top fin and the eyes and the teeth and put this together so that we can get this shipped out today. I'm gonna do that and that's probably gonna be it for today because I am gonna try to get this edited and I have to get ready for my vacation I am ready to book a trail out of Ohio this weather has been crazy it's been cold this week no rain so that's good but it's been cold I look forward to some sunshine and some peace and quiet and just relaxation with my family hopefully that will be great I will say I have to go back to the nail salon. I don't know how, but I literally just cracked my acrylic nail trying to push a blanket down on the couch because I keep a blanket for my pets on my couch. And it just snapped. And it'll drive me crazy all week. So I'm going to go get that fixed before tonight. <laughs> it's so annoying. That's it. Let's, let's get to finishing up the shark hat. So Come along.
guys I got the shark hat finished I just love this hat I think it's so cute what do you guys think there's the hat <laughs> here's my little diaper cover all right so got this last order for the week finished before my vacation so I'm gonna go ahead and ship this all right This package is going to Carl in Sarasota, Florida. Thank you, Carl, for your order. I will. I want to give you guys a little uh, picture of this particular set on a baby so you can see it. It's so cute. I have uh, a lot of pictures with my sets that I just love. I will share that with you here. So this one's getting shipped today. All right, guys, that wraps up this week's video. It was fun this week. It was a little stressful with my cat being sick, but I feel like, you know, I got everything I needed to get accomplished before I go on vacation. Life happens, right? I mean, that's that's the beauty of this small business is that I can work from home and I can manage a lot of things. It can work whenever it's convenient. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope that you could benefit from it in some way. Maybe you're just looking for something to listen to while you crochet, and I do that too. Or maybe you're looking for a little inspiration to start your own business, and if that's the case, I wish you all the best. I think that if you like to crochet, then go for it. All right, guys, I am headed to sunny weather, and I am excited. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this week's video please give it a like and also if you're enjoying my videos please subscribe to my channel because I would love to see you back I love all your comments it gives me more inspiration I would love to hear from you I will see you in the next one bye, bye.